Kings and Queens, your majesties, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for always returning. Trust you and yours are well. And you are loving yourself and others like always. Many thanks to all of you for the support you give to the channel. Thank you so much to our channel members, to our anonymous supporters, to all of you, my esteemed subscribers. You are all loved, celebrated and appreciated. I like America, but it's not mine. This is a powerful, oh my goodness, I'm becoming emotional. I'm becoming emotional. Because when I see how a lot of people have decided to cut touch with the motherland, and um, a lot of people are so much attached or tied to this whole American dream, of this whole, you can't become who you need to be or who you should be in the continent of Africa. You have to leave so that you can become who you are. This whole, is better I run away so that I can survive. And in the midst of all this, and a time like this where people feel like traveling abroad is the greatest achievement that you could ever uh, uh, have or greatest achievement that you could ever attain, um, there are still people that still value their origin. There are still people that still value their motherland. And a lot of you do, Your Majesty. And it's something that, you know, there is this, there is this, um, it gives one the will to keep doing what one does. I don't know if you get that kind of feeling that, okay, yes, there are people that have the same mindsets as I do. Now, when I tell people that I, no matter where I travel to, I am still returning. I won't go anywhere with the mind of, I want to go and remain. Wherever I go to, Africa is where my home, my heart, my everything is. And I cannot place any other place above my home. I can't place any other place above my father's land, above my inheritance, above my origin. And when I saw this Pan-African, this, this great woman, of course, you're going to see her soon, make statements like this. I just feel so emotional. And I'm like, there is a reason to keep pushing. Because there is hope that one day, a good number of people will see the reason why no matter where you go to, your home is your home. And that's why this whole statement resonates with me. At this time, it's like, it's like more grease, right? So, you know, to keep pushing, keep going forward, because there are people that have the mind of, okay, my home is my home no matter where I've been. So I want us to listen to him and we'll take it up from there. I like America, but it's not mine. I like that there's regular electricity. <laughs> I like that the internet is fast. I like, um, so I like all of those sort of convenient things about America, but it's not mine. I'm not as, Nigeria is home for me. Nigeria is, Nigeria is where I care about. I like America, but really, where do I want to spend most of my time? Nigeria. Yeah. And she said it all. I like those convenient things. I like that there are good roads. I like that there are good access to whatever you want to have access to. There's quick access to whatever you want to have access to. I like that within a twinkle of an eye, something that might take you hours or days could be done in seconds. I like that you can just... Order for anything and immediately is at your doorstep. Of course, there are robots now that do most of these things. I like that you can have the leisure and whatever you want, your dreams can come true. As it is coming through for a lot of people. I like those convenient things. But Africa is home for me. Africa is where I belong. Now, I don't want to use uh, word to word of what she said. I say she said Nigeria is home for me because she's a Nigerian. And she said Nigeria is where I care about your majesties. Can we say this wherever we are today or wherever you're watching from? Either in that, you know, maybe you're, you're in, a, in a, the luxury of your life right now and you never even think of returning. You don't even want to think of Going back to the continent of Africa, your majesties, can you say and call the name of any country you're from and say that is home for you? 
that is where you find peace. That is where you find true peace, lasting peace. That kind of peace that you say, hmm, that is where you find it. And that's why, see, for a couple of days, I don't know, for some of you who've been following, I've been propagating um, African Collective is a body of people, right? Of those in the continent and those outside. And that's why I will encourage that to foster our unity as a people, it's good that we merge ourselves, put head together, all right, to build ourselves forward. And that is the aim of African Collective. You know, I've been talking about African Collective here. I am opportune to work with them. And I see that it is a body that unites those of us outside and those of us in the continent. It's like an umbrella organization, if that is the word you want to use for it. But it's see to our affairs, right? When you are part of this uh, community, you'll be given first-hand information about what happens in the continent, about uh, businesses of melanated people around the world that you can propagate those of you in the con in outside the continent who want to come back home and you're thinking okay where do i go to live in the continent what kind of housing do i go to acquire these things are all there with african collective when you become a member you get access to all this information about our brothers and sisters in the continent and outside the continent. Because whether we are in the continent or we are outside the continent, we are one people. We have one blood running through our veins. We are nine ether beings, your majesties. We are the one that have the nine DNA series. We are one. And that's why I keep talking about loving ourselves, unity, your majesties, unity. Because wherever you are, this is the only place the motherland, Africa, al land is the only place that you can find that lasting peace. I'm not saying you are not peaceful where you are. I'm not saying you're not living good lives. Like you heard from her. She liked the convenience. She liked that there are good roads there, everything. All the beautiful things that anybody could dream or wish for. She liked that those conveniences are there. But Africa is home for her. Now, if Africa is home for you, if Africa is home for me, I should see to how I do what I can do to see that the continent is conducive. It's a conducive place where I and those after me, my descendants, can live peacefully. For the future, we build our home, not just for ourselves, but for the future. And how do we do it? We do it collectively because one person can do this thing. And this is where African Collective comes in. So I felt like sharing this with you because, your majesties, I was so happy, like I said, and emotional at the same time that she said what she said. I like America, but it's not home for me. It's not mine. I like America, it's not mine. You might not like Africa, but Africa is yours. So you choose. You choose. Are you going to remain in the America that is not yours? Or you try your best to see how you come down to the continent of Africa. That is yours. If it's spoiled and we don't want to repay it, we are running away. At the end of it all, it's our own. So it's waiting for us to come and repay it. It will wait. If I'm escaping it today, I run away. Okay, I say I'm going to relocate from the continent to a place. Oh, I'm relocating every day. You see relocation video every day up and down. I'm not saying it's bad. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying what they are doing is wrong. There, it's, it's their right to go to a place that is conducive for them, to a place that they can live and blossom. That is beautiful. But what I'm saying is that if we all run away, if we all leave the continent because, okay, it's spoiled. But who spoils it? There is a source to all these problems. Why are we not getting to the source of this problem to solve it? And we are like, okay, let's go. And then we are leaving the continent for who? This is a question I always ask people that feel the, the, the solution to all this problem is relocating. And when I say I, I, I don't see myself relocating out of the continent, people will be like, what is wrong with me? Yes, I will travel, but I'm returning. It's my home. I'm not leaving it for anybody. I'm trying my best to see how I could make something uh, better in the little goodness I do around myself and my neighbor. Your Majesty, this is how we build our community. This is how we grow as the African people. So running away is not the solution. 
but finding solution to this thing and knowing fully well that this is our home. You might love other places because they are beautiful. It's their home. But what about your home? Those places you are is some people's home. And they are using you to develop their home. Their home is looking beautiful. And you are running to it. They come here and steal. Steal the little we have. No, is it little? Pardon me. Steal the much, the plenty that we have. And they go there to build their home. And they even steal all of us, steal people to go develop their servers, manpower. Right? And then we, we live here. They give us reason why we should leave our own home. Oh, Africa is where flies are everywhere. People are what and what. And we leave the continent to their own place. We go and develop them. And then we give them upper hand to come here and keep stealing. Because, of course, the people that should open their eyes for them when they come are no more in the continent. Everybody is now outside. People who have some money to some particular level do not even value the continent anymore. They have houses in the U.S. They have houses in the U.K. So nobody cares. And this is how our downfall, this is where we fall as a, as a people, as a melanated people, as Africans. This is where we fall. So if we want to stand up, to rise up again and regain our power, we have to unite. We have to realize that running away will not solve the problem. We have to realize that remaining in someone else's house or home will not solve the problem, even if you have the citizenship. It's still not your home. It's still not your home. Anyway, I want you to think about this and uh, leave your comments and thought there at this section. And I will see you in my next one. Until then, love yourself, love others. Stay safe, stay positive, always your majesties. Bye for now.